Hi everyone, welcome to lesson number 10. I've got a very fun sort of easy song for us to start with today. It will get more complicated as usual, um, but I'm going to start off just by singing you the whole thing. So it's called Once a Man Fell in a Well and it goes like this. Once a man fell in a well, splish, splash, splosh, he sounded. If he had not fallen in, he would not have drowned. Of course, we're not really supposed to say that last word, drowned. It's not a real word, but um, as long as you don't write it in your English books, I'm sure we can get away with it. So there are four lines to my song. Have a listen again. Once a man fell in a well, splish, splash, splosh, he sounded. If he had not fallen in, he would not have drowned. So you're going to learn that with me one line at a time. Here's the first line. I go first. Once a man fell in a well. Splish, splash, splosh, he sounded. If he had not fallen in, he would not have drowned. It. He would not have drowned. It. Should we try the whole thing all the way through? Ready, steady. Here we go. Once a man fell in a well, splish, splash, splosh, he sounded. If he had not fallen in, he would not have drowned. It. How'd you get on? So I told you that there were four lines there. Can you work out which line was the odd one out? and why. So this might be an opportunity for your teachers to choose people with their hands up, have some guesses, and then I will tell you the answer once you've paused and come back to me. So which was the odd line out and why? So come back to me when you've thought of some ideas. Okay, so you might have just paused it and released it, and the answer is line number four because it's the only line that goes from high to low. All the other lines went from low to high. Watch again. Once a man fell in a well, splish, splash, splosh, he sounded. If he had not fallen in, he would not have drowned. It. Did anybody get the right answer? Okay, now with that song, as you can see, we're moving up by steps and then we came back down on line four by steps. So we are singing the melody of this song today and later on we're going to be working out how to play it on our musical instruments. But don't forget, I did tell you that this gets a little bit harder. That's because we're going to do it as a round. Now you might remember what a round is. A round is where you split into groups and you follow each other round the song. So one group will start and then a little bit later another group will start. So what we're going to try and do in the next clip is sing it as a round. So before we see the next clip, you need to split yourselves into two teams and decide who's going first and who's going second. On the next clip, you'll see me twice decide who's going to go with me on this side and who's going to go with me on this side and then join in and when I start singing, you start singing. I'll see you in a second. Once a man fell Once in a man fell splish, splash, splash, he splash, 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 he sounded. If he had not fallen, if he had not fallen, he would not have drowned. He would not have drowned. Once a man fell in Once a man fell in splish, splash, splash, Drowned. 
Well, hopefully you managed to sing that in two parts. The next clip gets even more complicated because you're going to sing it in three parts. So now you need to split the class into three. So I'll just give you a moment to do that. You could pause it if you like. Now that you're in three, decide who's going to be group one, who's going to be group two, who's going to be group three. Now group one you start, group two you come in a fraction later and then group three again the third time. So group one you are when you see the screen coming up you're going to be on the left, group two you're going to be bottom right, group three you're top right. Okay, now be ready because you come in sooner than you think. Group one will be one, sir, and as soon as they've sang that, group two will come in one, sir, and as soon as they've sang that, group three will come in one, sir, so you're really coming in quickly. Anyway, it's good fun, and if you get it wrong the first time, you can always rewind it and have a go. So get ready for the next clip. One, sir, man, sir, man, sir. If you haven't got your ukuleles, now's your time to go and get them. And we're going to simply start off with um, whatever I play, you play. But instead of playing in chords like we have done, we're going to play melodies. So do you remember? Melodies are single notes uh, and chords are a group of notes. So if you remember last week with our Okie Koki, we were playing a melody that used four notes. These were the G, now that note was found on string number three, third fret, third finger, like that. We were also using the A on its own, I called it open A, string number four, nearest the floor. We were also putting our second finger down on the second fret to give us a B, and the third finger on the third fret to give us a C. Do you remember those four notes? You put your, I won't do it again now because we did it last week. But let's go over those four notes again and play them with me. G, string number three, third fret. A, on its own. B, second finger, second fret, top string. C, third finger, third fret top string or string number four. Right, those are our four notes. We're going to do a whatever I play, you play. See if you can copy these melodies. Okay, I'll try and keep it as simple as I can. And as I've already got my third finger down, I'm going to start with my third finger for this melody. So it goes like this. Your turn. C, B, A, B. Did you get it? Try this one. How I'm starting. String number three on the G. Oh, it rhymed. Off you go. G, A, second finger, B, third finger, C. You getting it? Let's try this one. I'm going back to my string number three, G. Oh, back to the G. Have a go. G, A, B. And back to the G. Last one. Oh, 
all the way down. Your turn. Three on the C, two on the B, A on its own, and cross over to G. So there we've got a pattern of four notes, G, A, B, C. But I'm going to make life just a little bit trickier now. We've got to get better on our ukuleles, haven't we? And I'm going to add a fifth note so that we could play five note melodies. It's going to be a note higher up and I'm going to show you what I do. So watch closely. G, dun that. A, dun that. B, done that, C, done that, check this out. Ooh, my pinky finger has stretched all the way up to, let's count, one, two, three, four, five. Have you got a dot on fret number five? Have you? Very useful if you have, because just aim for the dot, the fret dot anyway. But I'm still on the A string. Let me show you what I did again. I went G, A, B, C, and then... Uh, uh, guess what note it is? G, A, B, C, D. It's the very high D. So we're just going up the alphabet, A, B, C, D. So on your A string, A, B, C, you have to leave this gap here and stretch out to there. And that's a D. Now, of course, our pinky fingers are probably the weakest of all fingers. So it might be that your fingers kind of squidges off it. But try, if you can, to get that stretch and really press down firmly. This would be a really good point to pause the video and just practice getting that fourth finger missing out of fret and stretching up to the dot if you've got it. Don't forget it's fret number five. You have to pull that face as well. <sighs> Give it a go. Come back to me when you've got it. So here's what you should have worked out. Four, three, two, open, back to your third on the D string. Uh, on the note G, sorry. D, C, B, A, G, G. Is that what you did? you got that right because if you did well even if you didn't we're going to play it all the way through anyway so all four lines nice and slowly with me let's get it right here we go so once a man fell in a well second line can you reach that pinky Third line. Now here comes that fourth line that you practiced on your own. Four, three, two, open, three, three. <laughs> now I really, really want you to try and play that well because we're going to try and play it as a round, just like we sang it as a round. So in the next clip, you're going to see two of me, one on the left and one on the right, just like we sang it. You need to decide which one you're following. So maybe split the class into two and choose whether you're doing that half or that half. We're going to do it really slowly. So if you're in the second half and you start second, you wait for four notes. One, two, three, four, and then you start the piece. So just bear in mind, it's not as fast as you think, okay? Give it a go and we'll see how you get on.
Well, I hope it didn't sound too bad. Now there is one more challenge. Shall we try it in three parts? <laughs> Just like we sang it in three parts. So the next clip, you're gonna see three of me. There's gonna be me at the top, sorry, me on the side, then a bottom and a top one, like we did when we sang it. So you're gonna divide your class into three, decide who's going first, who's going second, and who's going third. If you're going first, you're gonna follow the one on the left. If you're going second, your bottom right. If you're going third, your top right. Okay, so watch when I start and try and join in with me. Give it a go. Good luck. Now one last thing before we finish today's lesson. If you remember last week we were looking at reading music and seeing what it looks like when these melodies are written down. And last week we had four notes. We had G, A, B and C. But of course today we've added another note. So first of all, there's my little chart that I've got for you so far. And these were the notes that we looked at last week. There's your G, A, B and C. And at the end, there's a gap. That's because you're going to help me work out where the note D is going to sit on the music. Now remember, we have our five lines and the notes are found around the five lines. We talk about um, notes either crossing the line or we talk about notes sitting in the space, the spaces between the lines. So you have to count like this, line one, two, three, four, five, or space, one, two, three, four. So we need to work out where does the note D sit? That's the new note that we've done today on our ukulele. Where does it sit? So you're gonna uh, throw some guesses out to your teacher, um, and you have to use the word lines or spaces if you think it sits on the second line or if you think it sits on the second space. And then in the next clip, the last clip, I'll show you if you're right. Well, I'm hoping that somebody said the fourth line because your note D needs to sit higher and we're on one step higher than the note C, so I have to cross the next line and just add my stick in like that, and that is the note D. Did somebody get that right? I hope so. Next week is the last lesson, and I thought it might be quite fun if we use that lesson to go over a lot of the songs that we've learned this term just to see how much we can remember. But in the meantime, have fun, keep learning, keep practicing, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>